Hey guys, so today we're going to be working with the Adobe Photoshop CC 2015.5. Uh, we're going to be talking about the Refine Mask um, selection. I've been noticing a lot of people have been complaining that it's gone or they're having difficulty with it. So I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use it. Uh, so the first thing is you want to go ahead and duplicate your layer, which as you can see I did over here on the right hand side. And then you want to select your lasso tool. Then you have a little box up here that says select and mask and you want to go ahead and click that. And then you'll notice all the same tools that were in your refine mask prior. You have your radius, your smooth, your feather, so on and so forth. And then you will notice the picture over here on the right hand side, little version of it. And then there's an arrow pointing down. Uh, you want to go ahead and click that arrow and you want to go ahead and pick uh, marching ants. Uh, once you select that, you can go ahead and select your tool over here on the left. You have your um, your lasso, and then you have uh, your quick selection tool over here. I preferably like to use the lasso. So let's say I'm working on the uh, forehead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight the forehead. And I'm just doing this real quick to show you guys an example. And then as you can see, the little marching ant lines. And then what you want to do is you want to come over here to the picture again and hit that little arrow and then you're going to go ahead and click on white. And here you go. Now this may look familiar. This is how it looked like in the prior version of Adobe Photoshop. And once you have this selected, you have the option of lowering your opacity and bringing more of the picture back or leaving it all the way at 100, which is something I actually like to do. Uh, and then from here, you can actually start selecting your tools once again, your radius, um, you can feather, and just adjust it the way you want to adjust it. And then from here, um, if it hasn't been selected already for you, uh, you want to come here to the bottom and you want to pick layer mask. And once you pick layer mask and you have all your adjustments the way you want them, you go ahead and press OK. And there it is. And now um, when you are actually working on that specific area, what you want to do is you want to click the picture here on the left and let's say you want to um, smooth out that skin. So we're going to go to blur and then we're going to go surface blur and press OK. And there you go. As you could see, um, the forehead is now blurred. If I take that layer off, it's blurred. Now it's not. It's blurred. Now it's not. And there's your refined mask. So there's not a big difference. All the difference is, is you're not getting that little box in front of the screen. You have to work with it um, over here on the side now. Um, but that's that's basically it guys. Uh, there's your refined mask. If you guys have any questions, um, go ahead and message me below and I will do my best to answer. Take care.